Well, it's day two of the National Taxi Lekhotla. It aims to find solutions to challenges which are currently facing the industry, but it also seeks to develop a blueprint to regulate and formalize the sector. Well, the National Taxi Alliance, on the other hand, is refusing to take part. It says the meeting is merely a ploy to give Santaco a monopoly in the industry. Santaco, on the other hand, says it has the capacity and capability to lead the sector. Let's discuss this now with Santaco's uh, Gauteng Regional Chairperson, Mr. Rolf. Jones. Ralph, thank you so much for your time. Good morning to you. Uh, how did day one of uh, that gathering go? We understand there might have been some controversy around uh, the taxi alliance not wanting to participate, but from your perspective, how did the first day go? Well, let me clarify one thing first. Good morning to you and good morning to the listeners. Uh, I'm a former chairperson of uh, Santago Greater Johannesburg Region and a former Secretary General of Santago Hauteng. So the point at this stage is most of the role players or very important role players are not part of that Lekhotla and of which hence now the National Taxi Alliance uh, being out because uh, the associations that are not represented at this Lekhotla. So, and, and, and we feel that protocol dictates that there should have been uh, engagements from the grassroots level up until the national level. Now, what informed this Lekhotla? It's still uh, perturbing us because we don't understand to who gave the mandate or the issues that are going to be discussed there. Uh, how are they based on to whom? As the grassroots will never uh, be part and parcel of this uh, discussions. It's interesting that you mentioned that there wasn't representation in terms of associations because um, our report telling Dogu Hlekulu did go to the MTN taxi rank and it seems that even some of the taxi you know, managers or operators were not even aware that Lokotla was taking place. Big into question that point around representation. Was there a reason provided as to why there's such an important uh, conversation meeting that will impact you know, taxis and the industry nationally yet not every one that needs to be there is present? As far as I'm concerned, it is very, very important. People, uh, as I said, protocol dictates that grassroots are, that's where the problem is. And if something like this comes up, there should have been protocol that says uh, associations must come up with their own paper. From there, they must give it to the regions. You know, like in Houting, we've got five regions in Houting. Then after the regions have interrogated their own list, then they go up to the provincial, which is now Santaco Houting. But that never happened. I mean, who, who is represented at, at this Lohosa? Who, who is talking on behalf of Houting? And Houting being the nucleus of, 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 you know, of this business here. There are big associations like ATA, Toljota, Faraday, JSSTA, and so forth. These associations are not represented there. Mm. I mean, nobody came to us and say, what do you think? What should we go to and speak to government about this year? It's not just about speaking. It's about implementation as well. We had two summits. In 2016, we had our summit in St. George's, and in 2019, there was a summit at the Val. What happened to those resolutions? Uh, at, at least if we knew that this was going to happen, then we could have said we are represented. The, the issue of the relief fund, we're still waiting for that. We know Zilch about what is happening. So who is government talking to when nobody is talking to us, people who are really affected? There was going to be my next question, Rolf, as to who exactly is government speaking to, because they've made it clear that they would like to have at least, uh, you know, one uh, association which they could allow to, to lead in terms of conversation so that uh, they don't have too many, uh, you know, role players here. They say the reason for this is because uh, that it, get, it tends to complicate conversations when, you know, a lot of, you know, associations or even representatives, uh, representatives rather come to the table. So they would like to have one uh, I suppose, leading uh, association, which then begs to uh, then hear out the side of the National Taxi Alliance, which says that their worry is that Tantaco might be then uh, sort of pursued as the monopoly in the sector. When Santaco was formed in 2003 in Durban, they brought all the mother bodies. They brought all the mother bodies together to form Santaco. Hence now, because of the situation of 
unfairness and people not uh, sticking to what they were supposed to do. That's why National Taxi Alliance pulled out, you know. It's not only them. By Taxi Alliance, we mean the other smaller uh, structures that are in place, which feel that they want to have their own mouthpiece. Yeah. According to the Act, Act number 5 of 2009, structures are not in that. It is associations that are in place. So government should be talking to asso associations. And then they'll get the gist of the matter. Because, because you're talking to somebody who's at the top, some might not even have uh, vehicles. Now, people on the ground that are suffering are not being represented. Now, all we are saying here is a government must come to the grassroots and they must get from the people. This is just uh, a waste of taxpayers' money for them to run something like this here, you see. Because it's transport month, now they're launching something like this. Say, no, uh, before they can do that, a lot of mindset must be in place a lot of interrogation must be in place so that all of us we can be part and parcel and add value to this here it's not about money i mean we're providing a service to the com commuters out there mm. but that we need to do it uh, appropriately the killings that are happening you know the rules that are being uh, uh, enforced or taken away the expired operation licenses all those things, you know, are things that are affecting us. And, right. and, and the banks, they repossess, they repossess you. They won't even look at uh, uh, probably there was this kind of a thing. I and mean, we had a situation where this COVID that took place. We still are waiting those relief funds to come through. All right. Nobody's we'll leave it at that, to Ralph, due to time. But uh, definitely thank you for joining us this morning. Ralph Jones uh, joining us there.